We often hear things like, he took a leap of faith, meaning that he did something great, greater than he could have ever done by himself, but he took a leap of faith. In Acts 3, verse 8, it says, And so he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Faith is often called a leap, and that is appropriate. How else could you possibly move from one point to another when there is no direct link? Think of all the miracles that you've had in your life where there was no direct link. It took God, and it took a leap of faith. How do you cross over a crevice when there is no bridge? Faith is a leaping across gaps that exist between the known and the unknown, the proven and the unproven, the actual and the possible, the grasp and the reach, the I've got it and the I want it, the knowledge and the mystery, the material reality and the spiritual reality, the truth exposed and the truth yet undiscovered, the goals achieved and the goals that are still pursued, youth and maturity, sickness and health, sin and even forgiveness in the human mind, death and life and time and eternity. There is always a gap between today and tomorrow. And you can't be sure if you can cope with tomorrow, but by a running leap, you will jump into tomorrow with great positive expectancy. There is always a gulf between your present achievements, where you are right now, and your unfulfilled hopes and your dreams. By faith, you make the leap, and you grow spiritually. There is always a gulf between where you're at and where you're going. But by faith, you make the leap. What lies ahead? Tomorrow? Next week? Next month? Next year? Beyond? This life? You believe, and you Believe in great things because you know you're not alone. You believe in God and you believe therefore in tomorrow. And you know with God's help and God's empowerment, you have the ability to take a leap of faith.